Hey, YouTube viewership, what is up, man? This is the Needed Podcast. This is episode 53 in chat. It's an exciting one. This is the end of clubs. It's the end of the weekend, and I'll tell you, I have the dickhead hat on. And why do I have the dickhead hat on? I was going to rock the do-rag. I was going to rock. I was going to rock the, the W-do-rag. But I'll tell you something, man. I feel like a dickhead. Because I am the only person in my entire squad that's not going to California. That's not going to the final 128. And I said the only way I could do this is to wear this dickhead hat for the entire podcast. And we're going to wear this dickhead hat for the entire podcast. You know what I'm saying? Because I definitely feel like a dickhead. Now, if you're on YouTube, hit the like button and comment, man. Uh, saw a lot of great Madden games this, or what is it called, this weekend. It was awesome. Played in a couple games. We don't really need to talk about those, but we will talk about those if the chat wants to talk about those. Because I have sit here for 52 weeks. This is week 53. I have sat here for 52 weeks, and I have killed everybody that sucks at Madden. And now it's time to kill myself. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm ass. I'm not 128. There is 128 people left in this tournament, and I am not one of them. All my friends made it, man. Shout out to Clef. Easily. Skimbo. So easy, we didn't even talk about it. Bugs Looked a little dark, but he transformed. We will get to that later. Uh, who else made it? That I mean, I guess that is my squad. I don't really, I mean, you know. I mean, shit. I guess that is my gang. <laughs> Skimbo and Bugs. I mean, Vilma just... I, I, Vilma's a lost cause, but uh, my man Proof lost to BG. Another great uh, situation, you know, BG making it. Um, Taylor Gang has made me worse at Madden, dude. I, If I went into a season, it, it, if honestly, if I went into a tournament and you told me, W, you're not going to make the top 128, I would have smacked you in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? But now all of a sudden, I, don't, I, I start playing like four or five games with Taylor Gang, now I don't make the top 128? Nah, B. We got, we got, nah, B. <laughs> Nick, Nick Hacko in the chat. He done made it. But, yo, it's, my man user made it. User, oh, I watched my man user, by the way, one of the best man streamers. And you talk about man, and one thing that, man, people bitch about, you know, everybody has all the answers about streaming. Why isn't Madden popping on Twitch? Why doesn't Madden have more streamers? I will tell you this user is one of the most entertaining people I've ever watched play a game of Madden. One of the funniest people I've ever watched talk. I'm telling you, man, if you guys don't follow user, don't watch user stream, you are missing out on pure comedy. Uh, and, 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 and I'll tell you uh, one thing about, and I will tell you this, the one thing about um, Madden definitely has... Oh, man, is as far as players and streamers, our entertainment value is through the roof. It's through the roof. It really legitimately is. That is not the problem with Twitch on Madden. It's not. It's not even close, man. And 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 we'll talk about the clubs and everything. And the main thing that obviously we went into is is just uh, it's great to see these streamers actually do well, you know, and actually per, actually move on. Because when you sit in a in a position like like Pony is and and BG and even user. Uh, we know user as old man players because user been around being bummy forever. You know what I'm saying? We we know he's been around, you know, and, and we all know all super, like user is one of the best guys out uh, and we're all friends with him, you know, so definitely rooting for him. Uh, but maybe if some of you guys don't know who user is, maybe you guys haven't watched user stream or anything like that. Maybe some people haven't seen pony stream or they haven't seen BG stream. And when you're streaming and you have this opportunity to get to this live event, you think this live event is going to make my make my streaming career. It's going to help me, you know, get to the next level of streaming where I can make more money every day. It's going to propel me. It's going to give me respect amongst the best man players in the world. So for to see these people, you know, get over that hump and get to it and really just be filled with joy, there's really nothing like it to it, man. Uh, yeah, user, honestly, uh, that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, it was just a great game. And we'll talk about it because Joe Thomas is on. I saw Joe Thomas. I saw Jay himself use Joe Thomas. And I can, I, as you guys know, it is probably the bummiest fucking tactic in the world. But we will talk about it. I don't think it's the best, but God damn, it's bummy. But I love it. 
And I watched all these people win. And you know what I said to myself? I'm an idiot. And that's why I have the dickhead hat on. Because I, I could have put Joe Thomas out there and just ran, you know. And, and I'm just a dickhead who didn't. So, we will continue to talk about clubs. Now, Chad, I want you guys' help. Uh, really, um, is that uh, it really was entertaining. Like I said, the Manu and, and user game was... I really enjoyed it, obviously. Um, but... Seeing all the streamers win really was good for Madden, man. And I see Joel in the chat. Seeing Joel win, uh, when you put Joel in there with user and, and just people that people want to watch, you know, and, and to get them. And I don't think there's anybody that makes um makes the ratings change on Madden. I mean, maybe problem would add more viewers, but it's not about really the ratings. But it's just about, it's going to be a little bit more fun with BG. It's going to be a little more fun with Pony. It's going to be a little more fun with Joel, obviously. Uh, it's going to make it a little bit more fun, you know, and being able to watch those guys. And and, and the one thing that, you know, that BG and, and Joel and, and Pony had, they have a connection with Twitch. You know what I'm saying? So for me, uh, for me, it's like those guys, uh, Twitch just not going to be watching man players. They're going to be connecting with the man players. And I think it's important. For those guys to go out there and uh, have somebody they wa- they used to watching on Twitch, go ahead and compete. So it's definitely gonna be a good thing, man. Uh, um, it, it was pretty awesome watching all these games. Um, BG, like I said I go back to that because I, I, it, I know what it was like to uh, shout out to Mo in the chat. Um, the Mo actually advanced to. Um, I really, I, I really can't think of anybody else that didn't advance. Um. I really honestly don't, I don't see anybody else that didn't advance, you know, and you know, I mean, but you know, I'm going to hold it down for us on the couch, you know what I'm saying, At, you know, it's definitely, I mean, it, I'm going to hold it down, you know what I'm saying, you know, but BG for real, because like, I, I don't want to say I was in that position, but you feel like, man, this is going to elevate me, you feel like that's the break you need, and you, you've been playing the shit out of the game, we all play the shit out of the game, honestly, I don't play the shit out of the game, uh, that's why I'm ass, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. You know, yeah, cr- crown man. Now nah, BJ, it was different because like you see joy, like, and it's not the same. Uh, I feel like for when you're up here, when and when you are like, I don't want to say when you've already done it or when when you already are established in the community. As opposed to where I was, you know, four years ago or whatever it was and waiting for that establishment and trying to earn that place. And when you do, I mean, the joy is just unreal, especially for I don't know what BG's past games have been to get to live events. But to have that feeling of I finally did it, I made it and everybody can't nobody can tell me shit because everybody will tell you you suck. No matter how good you are when you first start, everybody's going to tell you you suck because nobody Listen, in, Matt, in any community, in, any, in anything in the world, when they see somebody new that's a little bit threatening, they're going to tell them they suck. And I was BG in Madden 16, you know, and to, to get to win and get that, you know, that justification or that verification from the Madden community is a big deal, man. Honestly, uh, BG was dope for real. Uh, uh, and it's good to see all these guys get to the event. I don't know which club has real events and which clubs will be in California. And part of the reason I have the dickhead hat on tonight, chat, is because I'm going to have to ask one of my friends for their plus one. And that's sad, you know, and a lot less stress on me now that I lost. But, you know, just no money. That's the biggest deal. Uh, Not winning any money. All these guys go ahead and and really won some money, everything like that. But cover four drop, show pussy. I mean... Now, and we talked about, we'll talk about BG. Is BG going to change for the Disney crew? That's the question we got to ask as BG is in the chat now. Is he going to change? Is he going to be PG BG? Or is he going to be the real BG chat? That's what I'll ask you guys. Is it PG BG or is it the real BG? And this is what I told you guys, man. You know, it's a lot of people that are going to go there and win the games. You know, it's a lot of people that are going to go there and play. And they're going to... There's 128 people left, chat. Listen, there's 128 people left. Do you want to be just one of the 128 people? Or do you want to be the person they remember? That's what I'll ask you. And how do you want to be 
remembered is the question. And you have your opportunity. Uh, listen, as Madden players and Madden streamers, see, we here. We here. This platform is all EA is ever going to give you, dude. You have to. And, and how you use this platform is up to you, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. BG, I want, I want to hear you say cover four drop show pussy. And I want to see more titty slapping. And honestly, um, Ghost, I said this yesterday, man. Ghost took the titty slapping to a new level. I Nobody can really slap the titty as much as Ghost. Because, you know, his shit jiggled down to his belly and in his face a little bit. And he, wow. So I don't know if, if anybody can titty slap like Ghost. But we might see BG on the stage titty slapping. Like Ghost. Now, but let's look at the bracket. Is there any... I don't want to say is there any... Anything surprising? Anybody you guys... We talked about all the people, obviously, between Pony and uh, BG. Uh, streamers that, you know, we're happy they made it. K-Mac, obviously, we all think K-Mac is pretty elite. Pretty much... Assumed he was going to be there. Uh, problem popping, really. Evil Ken, that's a good one. Making that far end user. Panthers Club, Jeezy. I don't know who Jeezy is. But y'all keep telling me about Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all could have told me about Jeezy. But another news. I will tell you. Radiant made the hunt. And this is when I knew. Chat. This is when I knew I was ass. You know, and, and and it hurt me a little bit. Is this working? Yeah, all right, we're working, we're working. Radiant made the live event. Radiant. The the, the Sixers point guard made the, the Madden live event. This guy right here. I mean, it's kind of hell. I'll be honest with you, chat. It's kind of super hell. Like, this is like super hell that he made this. But I'm mad because now I'm never going to hear the end of this shit from freaking It's Radiant. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is bad. It's so many people over me. Like, he, I can't even cap. Like, I literally, my pro am team, we're going to have to beat Radiant. That's pretty much, I mean, that, like, like, that's pretty tough. You know, and, and, and golly, I suck. But there's some other ones here, man. You guys tell me, as we look at the Bengals, Xbox, who's on the Bengals at Xbox? Uh, Chichi Rito, Frida Penguins, making an appearance again. Problem Child, I feel like this name has been around forever. So those two guys are going to make it for the Bengals, and I'm assuming that Crush is in here somewhere for the PS4. I'm assuming, I don't know which one of these dudes is Crush, you, you herbs, but I'm assuming one of these guys is Crush. Um, don't know which one. I don't know any of these guys. Ray Red also oh, crushed, lost the game. Oh, he lost. Oh, he lost this one. The run better run for us. Uh oh. All right, so crush, crush popped right there. Okay. Oh, this is Krill. Okay. See, I knew, I don't know about the Xbox, the, the PlayStation world that well. I really don't know about the PlayStation world. Don't know the names. Uh, we see the Cleveland Browns over here. We see Joke winning this one um, fairly easily. Um, and we see my man Big Country who was supposed to pop Joke. He lost in the last game there. Uh, I don't know who is on the PlayStation side for the Cleveland Browns club chat. You guys can let me know. Shout out to the subs. Shout out to the subs in the chat. I can t honestly tell you guys I probably spent about $400 today <laughs> on subs for the streamers and stuff. Famous Cavs fan, two three two three. Wow. Okay. And my man Famous. Radiant is it? You know what? One thing about Radiant is, Radiant sucks, right? But he plays the game as somebody that has like a career already. Like he's all right. He don't need the win man at all. He plays the game so goddamn relaxed. Like he had no. Where and chat, listen, come, listen, come here. I'm talking about about Radiant, man. No, like dead ass. Like Radiant played the game without a worry in his mind. He didn't give a shit. He played that game like it was a weekend league game. Oh damn. Oh damn. Like relaxed as hell. Like he didn't give a shit. 
He was chilling. And honestly, I think one thing, me, myself, and it happens to me as well, like, we put all these stress and pressure on these games that it affects the way we play so much. Now, I don't know about you. I can't speak for all you guys, but it affected the way I play. And as I see it affect a lot of people. They put so much stress and so much overthinking. Where I saw reading, I saw Radiant sit here like, Radiant was just like, what's up, chat? Chilling. He was talking about what 2K game he was going to play after the tournament. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I was watching him play like, bro, this is this is seriously something we could learn from as man players. Like, bro, it's really not that deep. It's not that serious. Uh, I mean, it is, but at the same time, when you see somebody that doesn't need it at all, play with no no stress, literally no stress at all. Like, he didn't give a shit. He almost lost on the last play. Bro, the last play gives up a quarterback draw. He's like, damn, I lost. Oh, well, damn. And but he the time ran out, so he didn't lose. It, it was just it was just nuts. Uh, yeah, just super free rolling. And it's tough to play that way when you in, disinvested in Madden. Uh, but to be but I could just see how much less stress there was on him. And then I watch Monkey, who fucking overthink plays. I've, I've been uh, last night. I'm playing Call of Duty, chilling in the chat, playing Call of Duty. Here come Monkey. I'm still labbing Run D. I'm still labbing Run D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he blocking in with his wrong playbook, changing his quarterback, stressing his mind off of this shit, you know. And it's just, it's just different. It's different levels to how people play, man. And you can see, definitely see the difference. For someone to switch their whole quarterback was nuts to me. Uh, definitely different how people play, man. And and it pretty much comes down to, man, if if you can find a way to remove that much stress. If you can remove that much stress and and not you'll never remove it all, but if you can limit it and and ultimately stop it from controlling how you play or how you, you know what I'm saying or, or the decisions you make in a the game, then it can help you a lot. Uh, and and I'm blessed at this point to be able to get popped by Gene, who literally drives a fucking bus, right? Gene, like we joke, like we chat. We really joke. Don't we joke all the time about mechanics and, and janitors and, and custodians and, and substitute teachers beating people? Gene literally drives a bus seven days a week. Literally. No lie. It's not a joke. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's like uh, seven days. I'll be hitting Gene. I'll be like, yeah, I'm at work. I'm at work. The way he played versus me, it's like he literally has, he has an Xbox on the bus. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'll, I'll listen. Listen, Pony. He definitely has the bread. But however, like for me, you know, uh, I'm actually blessed to be able to lose that these games and get popped by, by custodians. Oh, I knew it was Gene. Yeah. I, yeah, I know it was, I knew it was Gene. Yeah. Shit, he knew it was me. That motherfucker Gene was ready, dude. He had, bruh. <laughs> Gene was ready. You know what I'm saying? The worst part was about that was Gene texted me like an hour before we were supposed to play. Like not me and him, but everybody. He was like, y'all don't even want to play. And this, this is how I lose. I, Gene, be, I swear Gene, I'm telling you. Yeah, Gene was ready. I knew Gene was ready when I had to go to the two-point play. And he was sitting right there. I was like, oh, this motherfucker was ready. The club winners. All right, let's see what we got here. Jay Bird, the Needed Game Podcast statistician. Jesus Christ. Oh man, we listen, we got it all right here. Chewbacca Lemon. How about that? Cardinals. This is I don't know who Surgeon is, but now now I and listen, let, let's get to another I, I want to start something before I start killing people. Because I'm gonna kill some people. And I don't care how many goddamn games of Madden. Listen, 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 listen. Hold on. Before I start this, before I start really going into this, because I had somebody on Twitter killing me. If I don't know who you are, I'm going to say I don't know who you are, period. And I'm going to pick the person I know over the person I don't know, because that's just human nature. Also, if you are new, you're going to have a hard time getting respect from people that are already established. That's every single thing in life. You think the NBA players are like, oh, come on, rookie, come take my spot. 
Oh, rookie, you're so fucking good. Yeah, you're better than that. That's not how it works. You know what I'm saying? If you're at a job, say you're, you're a teacher, right? You're a professor. Now, all of a sudden, there's some new hotshot professor telling you how fucking smart they are. What's the new professor going to do? Nah, fuck him. I want to keep my job. It's same shit in Madden. The kid on Twitter told me, man, when you go on the podcast, you make fun of the new people, man. It's kind of high school-y. It's kind of like a high school click thing, you know? And, and it is like that. But I feel like everything is like that. The people that are established don't want more people coming into the establishment. Now, if you earn your way into the establishment, you will get all the respect in the world, as we all have, period. Like I said, for me, Madden 16, Joke was the main one. I was playing Joke on Mutt, kicking his little fucking ponytail up and down the field on Mutt. What did Joke say in my chat? Oh, you fucking suck. Play rags. I'll bet at the same shit Joke says. Oh, my God. I ain't fucking Joke. I've been playing for 10 years. Bet a thousand in rags. He sucks without his Mutt players. The same shit. And Joke will tell you. Joke will dead ass tell you. That's how he was. Mad as shit that I was kicking his ass. Like, literally. Foot right here. Right here was his ass. This is how far that shit was up his ass in Madden 16. That's how far that shit was up his ass. But what'd he say? Oh my God, no. You're nothing without your mutt team. Oh my God, you suck. Play regs. I'll bet a thousand. The same shit that happens to you guys. You know what I'm saying? When, you're, when you beat me. Say you beat me. You beat me, I'm going to tell you you suck. Or if you're trying to break into the community, people are going to tell you you suck. Honestly. That's just how it is. And you just have to stay consistent and stay around and you'll be part of the community. It's, don't don't discourage, don't think like, man, I, these guys are cliquish or these guys, they don't want, you know, make new friends. They don't want to expand the community. It, it, you just got to stay at it, honestly. That's all. So when I tell you, when I go over here and look at this list, listen. When you go over here and look at this list as we go back here, listen, I'm, I'm telling y'all. So we go to this list and I see Surgeon the God. I don't know who the hell he is. I know who K-Mac is. Good player. Obviously, I know who Vault is. Good player. T. Davis. Very experienced OG. T. Davis. Been to the club many times with T. Davis. So, yes, I am going to pick these three dudes over Surgeon the God. God bless you, Surgeon the God, but I don't know who you are. So, God bless. Have fun. Uh, this is a very good club, and this will be October 31st, which I feel like is tomorrow. Is it not? Like, this is, <laughs> like, all right, this is going to be very good. And the next weekend... We are going to have Houston, Texas. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to have the Texans. Joe Rice versus Mills. That is what we watch. Mills is going to... Uh, Ch Chewbacca, Chumerica, salute to you. But Mills is going to beat the hell out of him. Because it's a Mills is a bad play style to play right away at your first little live event. That's a bad play style. Wrath of Good, not Wrath of God, Wrath of Good. I don't know him, so Wesley is going to beat him. So it's going to be Wesley versus Mills is going to be must-watch TV, chat, and I can't wait to watch that. Uh, I'm going to pick my point guard, Wesley. I hate picking him, but I'm trying a new strategy with my friend Wesley. I'm going to encourage him. I think he's one of the better players in the world, and I wish him the best. Okay, and then we go in here to the Broncos. Boxing, my CFM partner, Turbo Jeff, defending Broncos club champion, Sonane, is this the real Sonane? Or is this just Ghost playing for Sonane? Yeah, bluff somebody else. And Noonan, who uh, was an Eagles club guy but went to the, the Broncos. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'll tell you guys this. Yeah, this if, if Sonane, I've seen Sonane have to play in person. And if he made this, it is Ghost. And that's cool. We, we just, listen, what we're going to do here at the Needle Podcast, we're not going to front. You know what I'm saying? That's not what we're going to do. We're not going to front. And we're going to see Sonane show up, make his $1,700, smile for the camera, and get blown smooth the hell out by who? By Turbo Jeff. That's what's going to happen. Okay, there we go. Anyway, we can get back. Listen, we can front if we want. Let's front if we want. Ghost, you can front if you want. It's okay. We don't front here. EA does not watch the Needed Podcast. We are family. Then we have TNC Justin. Now, tell me if I'm wrong, but TNC Justin might be the only... Oh, I see D. Croft down here. A lot of the TNCers were getting popped. You know what I'm saying? But TNC Justin made it out. You know what I'm saying? Made it out. Uh, K. Dillon. Uh, I don't know K. Dillon. You guys let me know, uh, PlayStation guys. 
problem is alive and mad and elite. So guys, let me know. Well, listen, the, the, listen, I, the two TNC guys I know named Fancy and J Wall did not make it. So for me, that's what I, you know what I'm saying. I'm not going to count the, the, I'm not going to count the backups. All right. Let's, <laughs> we're not going to just count the backups. All right. K Dillon can play Skimbo. Okay. Okay. What about, what about Madden Lee? I heard Madden Lee is pretty tough. Oh, that's the real K Dillon? That's my sub, K Dillon? That's a good club? Okay, okay. Nice to see Problem on the stage. Gonna help with the, you know what I'm saying? All right, now we go over here to the Chiefs. We got Young Tony. We got Serious Mo. We have Fame Nate, who there was a lot of controversy that he free wins his way into the tournament. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and listen, chat, if you haven't got a free win, or given a free win, I want you to put a one in the chat right now. Because as a man that has done both, now I don't think I ever received a free win, but I have given out free wins like it's my job. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, this one, Mo versus Young Tony. That's going to be talked about this last week or the week before, how how uh, Beast Mode didn't want to be in the Chiefs. Uh, but now Tony is, and Tony's Tony is a player that plays the hell out of the game. Mo is Mo, so that's must watch TV. Now it's, it it's definitely gets a little hairy here, but as far as like when you get to these Final Four, these are some good matchups, I think. At least two good names in each of these each of these tournaments. Then we go to the Raiders. Pavan, obviously the defending. Then we got franchise GG. I don't know Map Two Nathy. Uh, I don't know Jigga. <laughs> <laughs> uh i don't know jigga space jam i'm supposed to say something about space i don't know you guys tell me playstation guys is space jam my bad i'm sorry i mean my bad i mean th listen i mean my bad I, it was more about the you know him glitching free wins and mowing the so you know what i'm saying uh i don't know who jigga is now we can move down we we on the niners this is where uh th these are all the guys that popped Taylor Gang, Samoa's, Samoa's finest, I heard, was the most high-powered player ever. Jay Bird, Trey Kings, and Father Figure. I will tell you this right now, Father Figure is the hellest name on this list. You know what I'm saying? That's the hellest. Father Figure, is that not the hellest name? Yeah, no Earl is a big letdown, honestly. Yeah, no Earl, no Earl really let us down, honestly, Chad. Like that, that, that hurt. And you know what? This is when I realized me and Earl are like the same level right now. And this shit is another reason I decided to put the dickhead hat on. Me and Earl are the same level of player right now. Like this, but we didn't talk about tiers so much the last couple of years, Chad. We talked about tiers. Me and Niner are on the same tier. Dead ass. Me and Niner same tier. Whatever tier fucking thirteen is, me and Niner are there. You know what I'm saying? That's our that, that, that's our tier. Then we go to Rams, Sickened, Beast Mode, Mac, Nini, and Truzy. Okay, this is a sneaky little club. Who do you guys like? Sickened, I played uh, a couple times. Thought he was pretty decent, I'll be honest. Uh, Beast Mode, Mac, former belt winner. Nini, I always think is good. I really do think Nini is good. Nini is honestly, uh, he's so much different than everybody else, where I feel like Beast Mode, Beast Mode is a, a, just... He's a meta guy, and he's going to get good at it and good at the game, where Nini's the complete opposite. He's really tough to play against. I I, I honestly think he's really good at Madden. I really do. And Truzy is Truzy some shit. But well, I, honestly, the biggest thing for me, I want to see what haircut Truzy goes. The biggest thing I want to see in this club is what haircut Truzy comes out with. I'm saying. I'm saying. Uh, then we go to the Seahawks. Are we going to see D. Croft versus Kiv matchup? That's what we want to see. Probably one of the best club finals last year. It was awesome to watch these guys play. Um, disappointed the Seahawks are not doing another live event. How many live events do we have? Really not that many. One, two, three, four, five. Is that it? I mean, you talk about the growth of fucking club series is through the roof. Five? Is that really it? Five teams? That What about the Steelers? The Steelers aren't doing one this year. That's pretty rough. I didn't know it was that that low. But there's five. Disappointed about the Seahawks were always one that did one. 
Uh, it would be nice to see D. Croft versus Kiv. Haven't I, I feel like oh, we did see Kiv play a lot in the Classic. He made a good run in the Classic to be a passer. Um, then we go down here to the Cowboys. Uh, my thumbs. Uh, talk, talk to me about User God. Uh, I don't know persist. I don't know any of these guys outside of my man Kerry Q. Uh, listen, if Kerry don't make a run with the run game now, like Kerry, man, we might just have to really just be club promoters or some shit, bro. This man shit might not be us, man. I, bro, dead ass, man. This like, listen, Kerry, man. If it ain't time now, they done gave, they done made Deuce Close good as shit for three years, and we couldn't capitalize. Kerry, it's time, baby. It's time to step up to the plate. But you guys have told me, uh, you guys have seen how I feel, how Kerry plays game. Like, he don't give a shit. He just be out there. Nuno, that's you? Okay, persistent? Well, congratulations, man. It's a big deal for you to get there. And the biggest thing I want y'all to do is have fun. Uh, I, I will hope to be here to meet all you assholes, but uh, I need a plus one from one of my 15 friends that made it when I couldn't make it. Um, But anyway, we're going to get here. Where are we at right here? Kerry, okay. The Philadelphia Eagles, which I that my man Bobby V is here, True Goon, Erico, Big Gene and Henry. This is gonna be I, I, Big Gene versus Henry is gonna be cool for Madden, honestly. It really is. Um Yes. <laughs> Yo, Kerry is the negative side of the radiant mindset. Big Gene versus Henry. You talk about Gene is a legend. Henry is a, a phenom. That's gonna be good for Madden, honestly. Uh it really is. And I will tell you this, chat. The biggest thing that's going to hurt Gene, honestly, is the fact that um, I think Gene Gene would have had a dead-ass shot to win this. The biggest thing that's going to hurt Gene is that he played me and he played on stream. So everything that he did is just on stream. And these little fucking nerds, they're going to just have that shit strapped, honestly. You know, um, but I, I feel like if Gene snuck up, you know, I, I, I think he could have had a chance, really. I really do. Because I feel like he snuck up on me. He was ready for everything I did. Uh, and he had a good scheme. And he, he popped me just because he snuck up. But the fact that everybody know what he's going to do now. And that's that. And what I've been told, obviously, I didn't play like Madden 04 and back in the day. Everybody said that's what Gene used to do. Really hide his shit the best and really pop up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's what he did to me. So it's going to be interesting to see now. Uh... It's definitely going to be, uh, it's going to be good for Madden, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Henry going to be prepared, you know. Uh, then we got D Freak, also known as the King. Stevie J, running supreme on the Bills Club Series. Kwani, who beat Chaos. Uh, that was a good game I watched. Sensational. Sensational to me, I've been told, is the solo battle god. That's what I've been told. Ashley making a live event awesome. I hope he's in the chat, man. Uh, uh, shout out to Sensational making it. But Stevie J and Kwani, I, I'm going to see D Freak in person because I, I I am convinced. You know, anytime it's your brother, I convinced the, the better brother played. You know what I'm saying, yeah, Kwani versus Stevie is going to be. That's the first matchup. That's going to be good. Uh, then we go down here to the Dolphins. Master Gamer versus Blocky. Once again, Z thumbs up. And um, Josh, actually, I've heard Master kind of ass. So we're going to just put Blocky in here. Blocky, good luck. Even though it looks like he lost. So he lost the Z thumbs up. So maybe Z thumbs up is tough. Master Gamer, I've heard bad things. I've heard bad reviews, Master Gamer. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I've heard bad, bad reviews, man. Yo, I've heard some bad reviews from Master Gamer. I don't even have that many plugs on PlayStation, <laughs> so I got, I've heard bad reviews. But yeah, Blocky, you know, the most silent assassin. I don't even know how Problem Labs with Blocky. As a man that has, in the past, have played Blocky, like, locked in. Like, and Blocky don't say shit on the mic. Like, he don't say shit. Like, have y'all played with Blocky, like, in the chat? Or, like, he don't really, he really just don't say shit. And, like, Blocky is the type, like, you have to listen to... You have to, like, try to listen. You know what I'm saying? You have to, like, try to listen. Like, you'll ask a question and then, like, like listen a little harder. You know what I'm saying? I could see blocking somebody texting in the middle of the game. Like, yeah, that was a hard flat. In a text, why y'all on the mic? Swear to God. Swear to God. 
Blocky is probably the best reps like person I've played in like the last five years. But bro, I'm telling you, if y'all talk to him, bro, you really gotta try to listen. Like I swear, it's like his mic is across the room. His controller in his hand, his his monitor right there, but his mic is in the kitchen. That's what it sounds like. But anyway, so Blocky probably the favorite for that. We go to the Jets. Shout out to Evil Ken, man. One of the best offensive players I probably ever. Uh, one of the most underrated players ever. Uh, really just want to get his chance. Just an old head. Evil Ken. We see him popping up. Ice, AKG, Fresh NYC. Uh, so this is a sneaky little club. Do we like Ice? Is Ice going for the three-peat, chat? Is Ice going for the three-peat? Ain't it a three-peat for Ice? Okay, okay. This ain't bad, AKG, but Ken, we're not going to sleep on Ken now, chat. Okay, we're not going to sleep on Ken. I know you guys like Ice because he yells and screams and bites at people's ankles, but we're not going to sleep on Ken. Ken is going to be prepared. Fresh NYC, congratulations on making it, man. I'm not going to say nothing bad because y'all say I'm a bully. Listen, and I want to tell you guys something. All these people on this list are better than me, you know? So I, what can I really say? On to the Giants. Five Zans. It's a lot of Zans. VY Electrify, Evil O, Cyrus the Virus. Now, I heard Evil O is out for blood because he heard me talk about how Joke plays all his important games online. So, Evil O is going to make a run. That's what I heard. They The EMB hit me up and said Evil O is back. He got proof to the world he going to pop in person. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to see how it works. And then we got VY Electrify. That is going to be the first round matchup. VY Electrify versus Evil O. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be good. Cyrus the Virus, another somebody called Shrek because Donkey's in trouble or whatever. Come somebody called Donkey because Shrek's in trouble. Whatever the hell. Cyrus the Virus back. Uh, five Zans. Shout out to Five Zans. I mean, listen, you can't doubt these number one seed dudes. You really can't. Uh, but then we go down. Where we at now? Redskins, Banks, Techers, Ghosts, The Big Show. Uh, Ghost is the two-time, going for the three-time. Tecker's, um, Tecker's actually from England, right? That's pretty cool that he's going to fly over here. EA probably hates that because they got to probably pay three times as much to get his English ass over here. Um, Banks IQ, so is this who popped Ghost? So definitely going to be must-watch TV. Uh, Tecker's has been, yeah, y'all PlayStation dudes has been telling me Tecker's is hell for the longest. And then we go to... Patriots Club. We got Five Cam. We got Michael Skimbo. We got Mr. Football 88, Turf Team, and Anti Hero. Okay, so Skimbo is the favorite in that one. I saw how Mr. Football played, uh, and I will be the first to tell you he has zero chance to beat Skimbo. I honestly, but every time I've bet on Skimbo, he's lost, so I won't bet if any of y'all like Mr. Football, but you know, I'm just telling you. Mr. Turf Team, salute you, Turf Team, man. Glad you made it out. Have a good time at the Patriots facility. You know what I'm saying? Have a good time. I heard Five Cam is tough. Have played him. Uh, had, he was never super impressive to me, but he's definitely tough, man. Uh, damn, like anybody but Skin? Listen. If I, I listen. All right, so listen. Five Cam is tough. So, chat, if any of you guys like Five Cam... Please, you guys know my phone number. You guys know my Twitter. You guys know it. Please let me know, okay? On to the next one, the Colts. We got a little man. We got Nick is Beast. We got Team Elijah. We have Pony Montana. The Mon Montana man. You know what I'm saying? So, um, little man got to be the favorite. We're going to see what Pony does. He says... Jumbo, this is Jumbo at a live event. We will see how it does. I cannot wait. November 20, 20 Oh, these are these are all different dates. Jesus. November, uh, which what was it called? Blah, 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 blah. So we will have Pony playing Little Man first. Oh, Jesus. Nick is Beast. I don't know why he switched clubs. Team Elijah. I don't know who this person is, but he's been pretty decent on Xbox, huh? Let me go down here to the Jaguars. Dream, Drinny, Shakobi, J himself. We have a Shakobi versus Drinny first round matchup November 21st. Are you guys ready for that, chat? A Shakobi versus Drinny. 
Now, if anybody in the world likes Jacoby, Jacoby don't like Jacoby. But that's going to be must-see TV. And then I just saw Jay himself playing. And I will tell you, Jay himself is the biggest weasel Madden player in the world. Whatever he can do to get cheap, easy scores, or cheap, he's going to do that shit. Jay himself has become somebody you gauge how good Madden is by. How good he is at the game is how bad Madden is. If Jay is a top 100 player, Madden sucks. I, listen, I, 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 he, has, he has gotten to that Fitz level. Like I'll tell you that right now. I saw a man running goddamn quarterback draw with a, with a tackle at wide receiver. And also, about Jay, I will tell you this about Jay. Jay knows what is good in the game before anybody. Before anybody. He will find the cheating ass shit before anybody. So, and, and, and if there is somebody that knows all the cheating ass shit, come on, bro. Jay, Jay got to pop up one time, right, chat? Like, he has to pop up one time. Golly. If I knew all the, all I do is play. I don't know any cheating shit until somebody hits me with it or I watch it on Twitch. I need to learn some cheating shit. My dumb ass is still doing drags. Jeez. All right, here we go. Titans Club. Killer Cam. And Toxic Ape. RIP quarterbacks. Kratobin. Um... Kratobin lost the game, so I'm assuming he lost to Intoxic Ape. T t somebody tell me about RIP quarterbacks and Intoxic Ape. Because I've seen Killer Cam, he's just going to close his eyes, press A and pray. Kratobin probably doing something similar. He could pass a little bit. Someone tell me about Ape and, and RIP quarterbacks, chat. Intoxic Ape not bad? Okay, he not bad? Okay. Ape is sick. Okay, y'all. Okay, listen. Y'all think Ape is sick? Okay. Is Alex? My man said R.I.P. quarterback is Alex. Like, oh, he's Alex. Like, who the fuck is Alex? Am I supposed to know who Alex is? He did ass said that shit like, yo, all right, that's Alex. My bad. Let me keep it moving. Like, what? <laughs> Chad, what? <laughs> yo, he's, oh, my bad. He's Alex. My fault. <laughs> Yo, Alex, get the fuck, yo, I shout out, yo, I might like Alex, but they telling me Ape is good, so, uh, so Ape must have popped Kratobin's shit, okay, mm-hmm, going to them Buc, we shouldn't even count the Buccaneers, um, because Clef is in this club, and I honestly tell you, I, I honestly think Clef is the best player, I, I think Clef, as much as that's my guy, you know, he, he's my team member, uh, I really do, I, all, all bias aside, I think Clef is really, really good at Madden. Now you guys could disagree. Like, like I, I, I really think Clef is really good. Um, Civil looked really good too. Duke looked pretty. Duke is always going to be smart, but let's all agree, chat. Duke is going to fold. Like there is no like. Listen, Duke is not going to beat Clef. Like really, Civil Civil looked pretty good. I'll be honest. I watched Civil. He looked pretty good, but um, Duke is not going to beat Clef. Um, but Clef or Civil, I don't know who Slurka. The name Slurka is a little bit sketchy to me. It sounds like Slurp, but then like Slurp, Slurk, that's a little sketchy to me, chat. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, this is a good, this is a good club though, honestly. This is a good, this is a good club. I will tell you that, chat. It's pretty, it's one of the more solid clubs, but I, I really do think Clef is like, you know, head and shoulders above a lot of people. Uh, then we go down here to the Falcons. What I saw, and 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 we'll talk about uh Dugatti Bugs, uh the King. The King is another one. We got to make a list of man players that go into the category. We can judge how good the game is on how well they do at the game. The King is the fucking president of that club. He's the president. The better he is at Madden, the more the game got to get thrown in the trash. And I love King. I feel like I'm killing King as much as I be killing Bugs. You know what I'm saying? I really, it's my guy. And, and listen, I've never met my man King. And I want him to know that it's all love. I'm just capping. I don't want him to take this seriously. Because like I said, he's on the list. I'm not. He's better than me. However, 
The king is the president of, if this person is good, the game sucks. Followed by Fitz. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how we're going to do it, chat. And then, Jay himself. Those, those are, they, they might be the first three on the Mount Rushmore of, if the game sucks. All right? Now, we move on. Let's move on. I, no, like I said, but I like Bugs. Um, Bugs is not losing the Kodo. Who is Prime? What Prime is this? I feel like there's a lot of Primes. I, does anybody know what Prime we're talking about here? I know it's not Prime Time 50 Gs. Is this the OG Prime? What man was that Prime? prime? I think man 17. Tw it's not a Twitch Prime. That's Alex. He said that's Alex. <laughs> Was it that prime? The man 1516. That's Alex. Okay. All right. You guys let me know, man. I need help on the PlayStation. Now we go to the Panthers. We see GZJ. GZG. It's not Black Prime. Okay. Then I don't. All I know is the Black Prime. I know Primetime 50 G's. All right. That's the ones I know. I don't, I don't really know. All right. JD the Killer. Usher. The Usher is kind of a hell name. Oh, that's user. I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm drunk. That's why I have a dickhead hat on. Then why did I say user? Like, what the hell? Yeah, I'm drunk. Dickhead hat. Yeah, I'm tripping. Chat, then we ain't gonna talk about it. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Say some slick shit. Get banned so fast. Get banned so fast, chat. Get banned so fast. Kep is the first one. I swear to God. Say something. Say something. My bad. I'm reading a lot of little ass names. If y'all saw how little these goddamn names are on my screen. All right, my man Zay. Is that uh, Top Dog Zay? Is that who this is? Top Dog Zay. No. No, that's not Top Dog Zay. The books popped him. I don't know what Zay this is. I don't know what Zay this is. User. Obviously, we all say user play. JD the killer. User's winning this. Because user. Uh, tell me if you guys saw user versus Jeezy. User should have won that game easy. User was popping that game. Okay. Now we go to the Saints. This Mizzy time. This. I can't see this. I don't know who this is. Alan Gibbs. Nick Hacko. Do get him. Alan G I will be honest, man. I like Alan Gibbs' name, man. You know, straight to the point. We talked about this before about the young kids have zero creativity as far as making names. Uh, super corny. Super, you know, unoriginal. So just Alan Gibbs, he just completely gave up, and, and I respect it. I respect it. You know, if you just give up real name, and not nothing mad about it. You know what I'm saying it's cool. Alan, I swear, what, what November twenty first? Oh, this is when Bulls come. Oh yeah, Alan. Listen, I yo the headlock. I'm gonna put Alan in, bro. I swear to God. But anyway, Alan, I'm assuming Alan's good at the game. I, I haven't seen him play. Haven't played him at all. I'm just going to assume he's a fucking nerd. Because uh, Allen is the biggest nerd out. You know, so I'm assuming he's really good. Uh, Nick, who just played in one. Congratulations to him. Uh, but I would assume this is Allen's to lose. Uh, we go to the Bengals. Uh, Chichi Rito. Free the Penguins. Krill. Problem Trout. And Crush. Um, Decent little crew. Or decent little club, I want to say. But, you know, Crush. As we go back to Krill is triple OG. Um, but I don't think Krill's ever been elite at all. So, I, I very beatable. Crush, who's honestly played some pretty good Madden, even starting early in the year. So, I'm pretty sure he's going to be pretty decent. Uh, and we got, is that the first game? Yeah, we're going to have Free the Penguins versus Crush first game. That's a good one. Uh, but yeah, I'd probably say Crush is the favorite. We go over here to the Brown. Joke, Young Colin, Sam Island, and Faye. Now, Young Colin, I've been this Young Colin guy. This Young Colin. Now, obviously, I know Young Colin because he's in the chat. He's a supporter. But this is Young. Uh, apparently, Young. This is his chance to pop up, chat. This is his chance. You know what I'm saying? This is his chance for Young Colin to pop up. Now, is he going to do it? Is he going to beat Joke? It's a question, chat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, user ran a sweep on fourth and eight, but you know he trusted it. Sometimes when you trust your call, you go with it. Now, someone tell me that Ravens, this is not the real jet. 
I think it is the real jet. Now, I will tell you, it's been a year. A year, chat. It's been a year since I've heard from Jet. Not a month. Not a week. Not four months. It's been a year since Nick the Beast put the hands and feet on Jet. It's been a year. So this is a new Jet. This is a new Jet. Is this a humble Jet? Will the humble Jet do better than the regular Jet? And we have Thunderball. Skimbo says Thunderball can play. JS the best, known as the cleft killer, is in here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know Joker. Ka Joker Kale is another person I know from the chat. And he might be in the chat now. But I will say. Is the new Jet. Now you talk about somebody that's scum. Jet Steel will do anything he can for a yard. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be interesting to see the new jet. Is it going to work better than the old jet? You know what I'm saying? This new quiet jet who I haven't caught, talked to on the phone, haven't seen in a Twitch chat, haven't seen on Xbox, haven't seen. I haven't seen this jet guy ever heard from him. No, never. Is this going to work for him or he got to go back to the old jet? We shall see. Then we go to the Steelers. Ish. Lockdown. Deliverance. Joel. I, this is a pretty good club. Outside of Ish. Because Ish versus Joel is the first game. Oh, my God. You talk about popcorn. Now, listen. Joel versus Ish. Joel don't lose to Ish. I will tell you this about Ish. You can talk a lick of shit to Ish and he quits. Ish is Mr. I play money games. I gamble. I, listen, I play in the trap. I'm Ish. You know, I gamble. You talk a lick of shit to Ish, he quits. Oh, that's over. I, I'm telling you, chat. I'm telling you right now. You talk a Ish. Tim, where's Tim at? Tim, check in. Oh, there he is. There go Ish. Yes. And we got Deliverance. Who, who, shout Deliverance, man, and Lockdown. Is this the old lockdown? Or is this this ain't a new guy, is it? This old regular been around lockdown, right? I'm assuming. That's what I heard on like Twitter. This is regular old been around. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm telling you, he's out. So this is a good this is I mean, we rank these clubs. This one's pretty good. Gonna be fun to watch Joel versus Ish. Uh this that's gonna be fun to watch. I'll tell you all that. Um we go to the Bears. Sh Burko, Canes. BG fam and hardballing. BG fam. Canes once texted me last year when he beat my man proof. Right? And he said, don't ever pick a janitor over me again. Is BG a janitor? Is Burko a janitor? You know what I'm saying? I think we'll all be rooting for BG. I don't think anybody ever roots for Canes. Canes is my friend. I don't think I've ever rooted for Canes. I watch Canes. I think I rooted for Canes to beat Drag when Canes got cheated. I rooted for Canes to beat Drag. You know what I'm saying? But I, be, people going to be on the BG bandwagon. They going the crowd going to hear Canes going to hear the BG crowd in the background. He's going to hear the crowd. He's going to see Erlacher. He's going to see BG. He's going to start barking. And I don't know if Canes, I don't know if Canes is built for that that BG fam bark. I don't know. I don't know. So we'll see. And then I don't know how balling. Sorry, Burko. I heard ran the ball. He ran all over my man Proof. Uh, then we go down here to the Lions. Prodigy rival. Uh, bad boys and Radiant. Does Radiant have a shot to beat Prodigy? Does Radiant have a... I, listen, I... I'll tell you what. You know what I'm saying? But Prodigy probably the favorite. Is this the same rival that been in the line? Is this the same rival that popped bugs? 
Didn't he win this joint? Like, uh, what you call it? Didn't Rival win the the not last year? Who won Lions last year? Oh, McKinley status. Rival won Lions the year before. You know what I'm saying so. This is uh, Rival not sweet. Yeah, Rival not sweet. So we're not just going crown Prodigy like Prodigy's world beater now. You know what I'm saying? We're not just going crown Prodigy. So that's going to be tough. And we're not just going. We're not just going to disregard my man Radiant either. This is December. This is into the. Now we go with the Packers. Scheming Chigs, Dr. Joey, and Ty Eagles. Uh, Chigs and Scheming. Scheming could beat anybody and lose to anybody. I, that's how I feel about Scheming. Chigs. I don't know what to feel about Chigs. Chigs, as much as we talked about Bush glasses, Chigs wore those glasses at a live event. The yellow ass frames wore them shits at a live event. You know what I'm saying? And then we go with the Vikings. We see Strafing, Six Sense. Lord Phenom, Blair Walsh. We'll see how strafing does. Xbox One seed. Uh, probably his to lose, of course. I feel like it's a lot of tough people in this. In this, If I were... Listen, first of all, all these guys are better than me. All these names are tough. This is a tough... This is the 100 and... What is this? Four people times 32. 128 people here. Really strong list. Congratulations to all you guys. Congratulations to all you guys. This is your first event, man. Uh, have fun. Go out, have fun with everybody, man. Everybody's super nice. They're going to treat you cool. Uh, listen, I'm telling you this now, man. It's your first event. All you got to do, regular ass handshake, eye contact. Fellas, eye contact is the biggest part of meeting somebody and the biggest part of letting somebody know that you're serious. Handshake, eye contact at the same time. The biggest part of meeting somebody, introducing yourself. I'll tell you that right now. Regular ass handshake. And I'll tell you this out. How somebody puts their hand out to you is how they want to shake your hand. I don't know how y'all don't understand this, right? If so, I, my, I'm 32 years old. Everybody I meet gets the, you know what I'm saying, gets the presidential. If the, if the fingers are down, like this, like said here, down, that's a regular ass handshake. If the fingers are up, that's a, I want to clasp and do that. That's it. If the arm is out, they want to give you a little, a little dap, like my guy. If the hands are down, presidential shake. That's as simple as that. Eye contact, no matter what the shake. If they go fist, give them the fist. Also, don't switch your handshake. A lot of times you get caught when somebody go fist and you go hand, don't switch. Let them switch. Because what's going to happen is they going to look to switch and you going to switch too. And y'all going to be sitting there like dickheads. That's the biggest dickhead moment there is. Am I lying, chat? When we, we, doing, we doing switching, right? Right? And you sitting here like this, don't switch. Stay true. You go fist, keep the fist. You go handshake, keep the handshake. Don't switch. Let them switch. Because one, you a man. You trust your decision. You put that motherfucker out there so they, you know what I'm saying? This is what you believed in. Believe in that shit. We saw a Monkey, he believed in Peyton Manning. What'd he do? And what happened? Believe in your shit. And listen, if they don't switch, if y'all say, if, if, listen, because two of y'all going to meet. Because two people that are in the chat right now are going to meet, chat. Two of y'all are going to meet. And we're going to have this, and we're going to have this, and y'all going to be in a standoff. Yeah, it's going to be a it's gonna be a handshake standoff. They're going to be like this, and just look them in the eyes, and just walk, all right, you got it. And just like that, like I'm saying, you might be in a handshake standoff. It might happen. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, yo, shake somebody's hand like you want them to fucking remember you. I'll tell you the two, two people, two people, worst handshakes, chat, you guys let me know. I'll tell you the two, like, it's two people. I, look, Master Gamer, this motherfucker has never met anybody in his life before Madden. Madden people were the first people he's ever met. He has never shook a hand until his first man tournament. Am I lying, chat? 
Matt has gotten better, but he has never met somebody outside of Madden. And I'll tell you the other one, Manu. Manu has the most feeble fucking handshake ever. Because you know he's little and frail, so he got like little claw thing, and he like this. Am I lying? Am I, y'all, and this is what's crazy about the chat. Y'all have all shook these people's hands. Like, Manu and, and Master Gamer have never met anybody. I'm not lying. So, all you new guys that are going to meet people, listen. One, if they put the fingers down, that means a regular ass handshake. If they put the joints up, they want to they dap. If they go fist, go fist. Don't switch. Eye contact the whole time. The whole time. You're not going to meet Matt Marcoux. One of you motherfuckers is going to talk to Matt Marcoux. One out of this 128, one is going to meet Matt Mar Not even meet him. Just, hi, how are you? And give you a belt. That's it. The rest of y'all are not going to meet Matt. But you're going to meet some people from EA, right? I'm telling you. This is why I go with this handshake, right? Because this shit works for everybody. If I can meet Skimbo, what's up? How are you? If I see Bugs, good to see you, man. You know what I'm saying? I might dab him up after that. You know what I'm saying? Good to see my friend. But I can also go, you know what I'm saying? To, to you know, President Trump, same handshake, right? I can go to Matt Marcoux, same handshake. John Madden himself, same handshake. Works for everybody. That's why I stick with that. Just telling you guys, you know what I'm saying? That's all. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If, uh, Trump is the president. Regardless whether y'all like him or not, he's still the president. This handshake works for everybody. That's all I'm saying. Uh, that's why that's what I go with. But let's move on. Let's talk about Joe Thomas. We're going to breeze through these topics because we already an hour, an hour in. Let's talk about Joe Thomas, chat. Now, you guys watch my man user play. I'm assuming you guys watch your user play. Um, Let me know if you guys watch your user play or not. Did user delete these clips? Oh, never mind. We we no longer have users' clips. Smart man deleted all them shits. But uh, let's talk about Joe Thomas, man. Because Joe Thomas, all these things kind of happen... Let's talk about Joe Thomas, cause um, what does the ability? We saw this ability as this dickhead head is starting to itch and get hot. My bald head, but I'm still a dickhead. But anyway, we saw a user's game. Uh, Joe Thomas was shitting the bed in the first half. User could have, I don't want to say ran away with the game, but he could have had a much easier game. Well, I don't know what happened with the clips, but the clips I had saved, they're they're not there anymore. But we'll talk about Joe Thomas. Joe Thomas's ability, right, chat. Hear me on the ability here. The ability is Joe Thomas will disintegrate any DB he runs into. He won't disintegrate linebackers. He won't disintegrate defensive ends. He, he'll just block them regular, right? Okay. Um. So, what happens in in users' game is Manu Manu plays a pretty decent game. He do some question. He do some iffy pass that could have went either way. But um, when you're playing against Blitz 8, I mean, my man was playing against Blitz 8 with no escape artist, no hot route master, just a shit-ass Aaron Rodgers. Uh, it's going to be tough to play offense. You know, I think it's the stupidest way to play play offense. God bless your heart if you're doing it. If, you're no hot, if you pass every play, have no hot route master, no escape artist, you are a goddamn juggernaut. <laughs> you are nuts, honestly. Um, and... Uh, but this is what happened. Manu goes out and gets a lead. He gets a lead. He's up 19 to 7. One of the biggest things with this game, uh, I wish I maybe break it down, but I don't have enough time to really break it down because we're going to laugh at my games. Um, but one of the biggest things in this game was Manu has such a lead. And then he then Joe Thomas just Joe Thomas tightened the belt. Joe Thomas said, user, I got you. And Joe Thomas just started boo, boo. Boo, 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 boo. It was to the point where user was now high powered. Every time he ran the ball, it was a touchdown. Literally, he ran the ball, ran over two people, touchdown. So 
eventually it's 19 to 14. User goes for an onside kick. It worked out because Manu didn't get a two point conversion. He could only go up eight, uh, but user stopped him. So then, uh, moral of the story is, I believe what happened. What happened was user went, user went, got the lead. Another boop, boop, boop. He got the lead. User is up. 20, he was up. What was he up? Anyway, man who kicks the ball off. Man who takes the lead, mosses him with Randy Moss. Boom. Uh, user now is down by four, I believe, right? So user is now down by four. And he needs a touchdown with 38 seconds. No, 38 seconds, right? With one timeout. Now, Man who, man who better than me. I'm not. Listen, I'm ass. I lost to two janitors and a bus driver. But if I'm thinking on defense, man, who is user's best player? It's Joe Thomas, right? I let Joe Thomas just run me over and, and just give two touchdowns four plays in a row. I'm going to do whatever I can to not let. Now, Joe Thomas, this man has stars on his safeties to tackle users. Just stars. And for some reason, he's letting Joe Thomas just, if I'm, I would take Paul Mount, listen, I'm not worried about tackling the running back. I'm not worried. I'm getting out of Joe Thomas' way. So if I got to take my player, take him out of bounds, and then <laughs> let Joe Thomas run and then go tackle him, I'm doing something different. But he gave up the same run on the same defense and the same play about three times, man. And, and, and really, I'm sitting here thinking, because I'm a thinker, not really a doer lately, but I'm a thinker. And I'm thinking to myself, man, I would do anything I possibly could um, to make sure that Joe Thomas blocks a linebacker. You know, because we talked about it. He's not going to block a linebacker or he's not going to pancake a linebacker. So I, when he motions him out, I, I would take a linebacker and try to find Joe Thomas. I would take my middle line. I would do something different. Just find a way to get... Joe Thomas, because once Joe Thomas blocks a linebacker, he's going to be done for the play. The thing with Joe Thomas, when he gets to them safeties, oh, he's finding some safeties. Boop, boop, boop. But if he got on a linebacker, now he's done. He's out of the play. So I would find a way to try to, like, get a linebacker matched up on him. When he motions him out, take my linebacker, make sure he's head up on, on, on Joe Thomas, really. Find a way to make sure Joe Thomas is out of the play. Or at the end of the day, man, we talk about so much stick. Madden doesn't take stick. Have some fucking stick and move your safety out the way every once in a while. And to let it go three times, man, it, suck. it sucks, man. It really does. Oh, yeah, Joe Thomas took Joe Thomas got ahead of clutch straight for what happened in that fourth quarter with user game. And then I saw uh, Jay just running quarterback draw with Joe Thomas. Ah, God bless. Yes, you have to loop around Joe Thomas, do something. Yeah, Mo, you're right. I do, you know, but you know, I just wanted to talk about it. That's all. And 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 I actually, you, I did help. I mean, user is my friend. I gotta try to help him a little bit. I shouldn't be giving out the tactics, but just I, honestly, you gotta have some type of stick. <laughs> like you gotta fear Joe. Th Fuck trying to go make the tackle. I'm getting out of Joe Thomas's way, especially with 38 seconds and one timeout. That's like if you keep him in bounds. That's like three plays at max. But anyway, now we got to get to the real story of the night. Is Dugatti Bugs. This is a new, listen. Are you right? Yeah, the gene click on and run back. Dugat now listen, I'll tell you something about Bugs. Bugs is Disney. Bugs is the most Disney person in the community. He now other than Drenny, Drenny is the poster boy for Disney. But then there's Bugs. Now it's kind of like Drenny, Bugs, Zan. And I, I I've told Bugs he is the Black Zan. Like there is Zan, and then there's Black Zan. That's why they they do commentary together. Cause you know he's the non-threatening, non-harming, but he's still black, so he adds the you know the diversity. He's that type of person. You know what I'm saying it is Zan and Black Zan. Right? Um, so essentially Bugs 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 put a do rag on. And Skimbo Text this I didn't know the, it was like Skimbo Text me said, yo, if this was your first time in Bugs stream, you would think he was hood. So <laughs> so Bugs has a do rag on, and I said, This might be a new man. 
and 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 he played good. Like this was like the best two games of Bugs life. Like like we've watched Bugs, and and sometimes Bugs sucks, and he just be looking sorry there. Like you know, like there's nobody that's worse when they lose than Bugs. Like there's nobody that just looks like such a punk when they lose than Bugs, right? So he put the do rag on, and we've all we all Bugs friends. We didn't seen him lose. You know what I'm saying? And he just looked like like. Bugs, because when it's your friend, like when I see my friends losing and bit, like I'd be wanting, yo, stop, like, stop bitching. And that'd be Bugs. Bugs is that person. You know what I'm saying? But when he put the do rag on, he transformed it to do Gotti Bugs. He do the do rag on, he, he tucked the cape, he didn't have the cape out. I would, I would take Bugs for a cape out type of do rag wear. You know, he lives in Atlanta, you know, he's a, you know. It was fraud, user. We knew it was fraud. You know what I'm saying? Now, I looked up the rules. And we all know EA is not going to let him wear a do-rag on the stage. They made Mills take off the white tee on the stage. And Mills is in the chat. When we talked about well, yo, the do-rag is not EA appropriate. And it's going to be over. We're going to get same old fucking green cauliflower-ass bugs at the EA event. No, Mills was in here. I'm telling you that right now. Mills, they yo, they made him put a Madden shirt on because he had a white tee on. I'm telling you. Now, now, it was nuts. And and people that were at that event, I'll tell you, man. Okay, that the Trey Kings might have had a do rag on at, at the Madden Classic. We're talking about the club championship here, boys. There's bigger sponsors involved. No, I'm telling you, it's going to, listen, Bugs, look, do-rag, uh, yo, the do-rag, the attention to detail, I, we're going to all be locked in if EA going to let Bugs wear the do-rag. And is Bugs even going to want to wear the do-rag? And those nerd-ass glasses. Let's, oh, man. I love Bugs, man. That, Bugs is legitimately like one of my good friends. Bugs, Skimbo, Velma, man, these are my friends for real, for life, man, but golly. Black and mild. Yo, he got glad. Now, I thought Bugs was just getting old and he couldn't really see. Chat, I, don't, I was, listen, I really thought they were like real glasses. Like he needed these shits to see. And I'm like, yo, he's playing good because he can see. You know, and I said, you know, I might need those, right? Bro, the glasses are to protect his eyes from the monitor. He said it causes a lot of harm to my cataracts or some shit like that. And I said, Lord Jesus Christ, what? Then I said this, chat. Chat, I said this. Listen. I said, yo, yo, send me the link. I'm going to grab a pair. Because you know, they, you're popping with them. Listen, if someone starts popping with some shit, I want to try it. I'm not a fool. I'm some ass. I lost to a bus driver and Bobby V. I, I need the goddamn glasses. Where can I buy the glasses? Maybe the blue light is fucking me up. Maybe I need the blue light. You know, I said, I will try anything. Right? So then, I, he sends me the link. Said, now, you guys can come with me because this is why they watch. Let me go back to my Discord information of what Boog sent. Now, this is what he sent. This big ass link. <laughs> he sent the link and we go to Amazon these motherfuckers right here are a hundred dollars marked at a hundred and forty dollars oh and he said oh listen they don't have straight black straight black silver <laughs> leopard but he chose these motherfuckers he swore he was doing it when he bought these a hundred dollars and you see what I said chat a hundred dollars suck a dick and this is exactly what Bush was like can't put a price on eyesight. I swear to God. That's what he would say. Can't put a price on eyesight. I'm telling you. Shit is nuts, man. <laughs> Yo, the leopard joints would be freaky, chat. Yo, the leopards would be freaky. Yo, I'm telling y'all. I yo, Buzz, yo, I was but but honestly, and you guys watch, Buzz plays super tough the last two. 
Yo, Bugs played super tough. Like, really good. So, chat. Chat. If I might buy these joints right now. Somebody, listen. I'm I'm grabbing. I've seen enough. I'm grabbing. $100. Ain't enough. If it's going to help me win some guy, if I ain't losing the goddamn janitors anymore, let's grab these joints, chat. Chat, are y'all with me? Should I grab, chat? Should I grab the leopard ones? Let me know, chat. Somebody talk to me, chat. I have the gamer gloves. The leopard joints? <laughs> the leopards? Do I go leopards? I can't go. I think the silvers might pop, though, chat. The leopards? Hey, Bugatti Buzz with the gifted subs. There he is. I mean, listen. The leopards? Oh, see, I can't. They not even. Uh, I can't get the leopards. I can't get the leopards, man. Shout out to Buzz, man. With the gifted subs, man. I appreciate it. Leopards? I can't get... They're not on Amazon, though. That's what's ass. The silvers don't go? That's what I'm saying. LT, the silvers kind of pop. I'm not getting the same pair as books. <laughs> Yo. The silvers kind of kind of swaggy, chat. They not swaggy? Silvers? Chat. Bro, the silver's kind of lit. Anything but multicolor. Yeah, they, they, some some asshole really said these are it. These are popping. The leopard, dude, if the leopards were actually on Amazon, I, I would grab, but they're not on Amazon. The silvers? <laughs> Yo, there's no way I buy these shits. But <laughs> boy, now look, boys in the chat fronting. When did they get new frames? <laughs> no motherfucker, they had these same frames. And you said, "Oh, I'm going for the Atlanta Club Series. Let me get these. These joints fly." Like what? <laughs> exactly, Kim. <laughs> no, you pick these shit. Shout out my man user with the get the subs, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All the new subs, man. Somebody put some hennies in the chat. Boogs picked the shit out of these joints. I'm grabbing the silvers. Bluff somebody else. Bluff somebody. <laughs> Bugs getting these joints next. <laughs> Ooh, these joints. Why we don't get these? Why do we get the Hyper X ones? They're $120. And these joints are $20. Blue light blocking. What? What are these right here? Oh, these joints. Different, different. Oh, these, these are different, though, chat. Oh, these $800? Never mind, fellas. What's in my cart? Probably some freak shit. Oh, look what I was going to grab, chat. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Yo, I be on Amazon tripping. Look. <laughs> I forgot to check out. I forgot to check out. Check out, y'all <laughs> right, right. ain't just gonna be up in my, y'all ain't gonna be up in my, uh, in my cart. See the shit I be planning for the stream. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all ain't gonna be in my cart. We gonna, y'all ain't gonna be in my cart now. All right? Yeah, y'all not gonna be in my cart. That's not gonna happen. All right, that's my cart. You know I be planning shit. Y'all not gonna be. But anyway, like I said, Bugs play really tough, man. Bugs plays super tough. Uh, I think he's back. Exciting to watch him play, man. So uh, we'll see if they let him wear the do rag. I, listen, chat. This is what I'll ask you guys. Give me a ones if you think EA lets him wear the do rag, or give me a two if you think they're going to tell him to take the do rag off. It's not appropriate. Twos if they cancel it, ones if they let him wear it. Let me know. <sighs> It's a, it's a mix. It's a mixed. I'm saying it's a mixed. I, I'll be honest. I, I will tell you, book. At the same time, they gotta know that this is gonna help books. 
is going to help Bugs win. Now, EA would love for Bugs to win because, you know, I can't really get into race issues due to my past, so I can't. But there hasn't been, you know, a, a, you know, a black person to win a belt, you know. So they would love for Bugs to be the first. Mills, man. Eh. Joel, eh. They wouldn't like that stuff that much. You know, user, nah, they probably wouldn't even like user winning. But Bugs winning, holy shit, that opened a whole new market for them. So they got to be smart enough to realize it's a good thing. Right? Henry, they might let Henry got the glasses built in. And Henry, Henry is on that Bugs level, you know. Only because Henry is still young. He's not really been, he's still 16 years old. He hasn't really lived a life yet, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, exactly. They love bugs. The same reason they love the new host they got instead of Rico. See, User, Mills, Joel, they're like the Ricos of broadcasting. You know, Rico is them. So, they're trying to, they took Rico out. They got a bugs type to be the, the black caster. You guys got to see where they're going. with Clef, I'm telling you, Clef is fighting the, the bad fight. You know what I'm saying? He's fighting a tough fight. He is. Clef is on the Jay Mills and the Joel side. He's not on the Bugs side. And I'm going to have a meeting with Clef that, to really try to embrace his inner Bugs. You know what I'm saying? Get a little more Bugsy. You know, maybe do some more Disney stuff. But, you know, we got we to gotta see what's the best angle for, for, for Clef to get more like Bugs. You know, does he have to do like a family stream or something? Does I don't know what we can do. You guys can help me. How can he get more like Bugs? You know what I'm saying? Clef's not really a tweener, man. I don't know. Rescue a puppy? Okay, okay. We'll see. If you think if Clef gets the glasses, it'll change him a little. You can never go full Bugs. <laughs> can't play JS the best. Yo, I know y'all was around from when JS was running Clef. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. He got to stop playing the gangbanger music. We'll talk about music. But now, nah, let's talk about myself. Because, you know, I like to throw a lot of shit to you guys when you guys suck. Right? And we laugh at people when they suck. You know, chat. Uh, I'll tell you guys... I, and it's funny when you guys suck. Because let's be real, man. It's more fun to laugh at people sucking than watch people be good. Let's be honest. What's more fun? Laughing at people or saying, damn, that guy was pretty good? Laughing at people is way more fucking fun. Like when I saw Cassante go out there and try to play in the Houston Texans Club Series, that shit was funny. Right, chat? That shit. When I saw Skimbo try to cap his Spoto, that shit was funny. Like, uh, agree with me, chat. You know what I'm saying? It's funny laughing at people. You know? It's funny. And when they do good, good job, good play, you know what I'm saying? Respect. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, one thing about being somebody that judges people, and I take this seriously, and being somebody that always makes fun of people and laugh at people, really, like, you have to be able to do the shit to yourself. Now, I'll tell you guys. I was some shit against Bobby V and and Gene. Now, I'm not going to show Gene game. If y'all were here, y'all watched it. Gene played a good game. I felt like Gene beat me. You know, I, I didn't feel like I really beat myself. I beat myself a little bit, but I feel like Gene won. But Bobby V, shout out to Bobby V. I hope you in here, man. I beat myself. And I'm, I'm going to show you guys a couple of things. Because... That's what I do. I'm not going to just kill you guys all the time and never kill myself. And I think that's important. So we're going to laugh at the dumbass shit I did. And you guys can, I mean, you guys can tell me what I was dumb and where I was, what I messed up at. And I will tell you, I didn't go the corner route because I was afraid because Gene picked that shit off twice. I didn't want to throw a pick against Bobby V. And I'll tell you guys, yeah, Gene was on some whole wild shit and he legitimately beat me. So I... And we'll go to this. And we'll go to this and we'll talk about it because it's only a couple things I want to talk about. Um, 
I will show you his. Oh, he does a little baby dot here. I believe this is when he just runs for a touchdown. One tackle, two tackle, three tackle. Spin Tillman, go to the crib. That is how I gave up the first touchdown. Let's, I, I just want to see. But I, a lot of this is my fault here because I'm, I ain't going to show you all the plays. Uh, I ain't going to show you all the plays. Uh, just some shit about what happened to the game and why I was bad. One, I get quick snapped a little bit here. I want to move this guy out uh, and get back on Tillman. I wasn't on Tillman, so that killed the play to begin with. But one, two, three people, I believe, just had a chance to tackle him. Am I wrong? Am I right? I have Olaquan. He's a 14 cap. Uh, that's one person, Barr, and then Olaquan. Then Tillman gets off a block but gets spun. That's my super Tillman. Uh, and goes to the crib, you know. Yeah, I, got, I wanted to be on Tillman, but uh, like I said, it was um, I was too late. I got quick snap. That's what killed me on that play. I got quick snap. So that's how I got scored on, right? So then I go down the field. You know, I, I do a pretty good job going down the field. Uh, this guy just ran cover three, spied this super linebacker with a star. So it kind of took away the scramble. He just rushed these three dudes were goons. I motioned him to block. He slides the line. It's really just the weekend league special defense. Now, I throw the corner. I really should have been something I do a lot more. And honestly, yeah, I definitely clicked off Tillman because that's the whole plan. Because this guy had nuts to spin Tillman. And that was the whole plan to make sure Tillman killed him, honestly. But uh, so we go down the field. Da 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 da. We get here, second and goal. All right, now this is where the, the chat, oh, you should run the ball. Run the ball. Okay, that's cool. Okay, second and goal, we're on the seven yard line. Honestly, I could have been in some type of eye formation, put Moss back. I don't have a running back. I have gold Adrian Peterson who fights, but hes I have no offensive line. They all suck. Uh, it's tough to run the ball. He has Lawrence Taylor, Fletcher Cox, Kevin Green, these linebackers. He has a decent defense. I know he has Ramsey. I know he has Patrick Peterson. Um, so really tough uh, to run the ball on this team. So I do try to first down. You see these guys are in the backfield before I can. It th I, now, obviously, if I had a 50-cap, you know, 60-cap running back, I could make something out of this. But really, just nothing to go to. Adrian Peterson falls down right away. So I definitely tried to uh, run the ball in a little bit. Um, but we get to second and goal here. Now, I, I will tell you, chat, and this is, where I, this is where I lost the game, is that I just really pressed way too much. And I know I'm playing Bobby via janitor. I'm mad he has seven points. Um, and for me personally, uh, I want to score a touchdown so bad. Cause I think, I think I'm pausing. I think it's a super duper, um, important to win this game for me to get a touchdown here. I think getting three still makes him play like a bitch and still doesn't put any pressure on him. I am putting so much pressure on myself to score a touchdown this drive. Uh, I know it's covered three. My, one of my biggest problems with this play is that I have to send out five. I got two flat zones, two curls, two hitches pretty much. The problem with I have a shit offensive line, and he's shifting everybody here. I want to keep my running back on a route, so I have this curl to throw to and this curl to throw to. And uh, But what happens is LT is so far out that I'm going to get pretty good pressure on me without blocking the running back. As you see, I can't roll anywhere. I have to step to the right because he has such a good angle on my shitty tackle. Now, during this play... I see his goal line defense. I see this just crevice. Just You see like this just giant place to guard. Uh, and he actually guarded that pretty good. But and look how many zones are here. X could be a throw, but because I have to roll out right, there's nowhere for me to really throw to. Uh, and I pretty much throw the ball away, honestly. So, okay, after that, I have to myself is this, is that, okay, I want to attack that big ass hole he just gave me in his goal line defense. So I go get Moss and I put Moss in the middle. I put Moss over here to run this post route. I'm on a six yard line. I want to score here because scoring a touchdown is huge in this game against Bobby V. I have Moss, 60 cap Randy Moss. You know, he's full Randy Moss, right? So my main goal I want to do here is I want to give him a chance. If he, if I have the middle of the field, if I have any step on his user, if I feel his user's underneath and won't animate, if I feel I can get any type of throw to Moss, I'm going to take it because the chance of me scoring a touchdown here is huge um, because scoring a touchdown puts a lot of pressure on him, you know? 
So I wanted to attack that big ass hole, Demar. Exactly. So I smart route him. He's on like a slant, a post, something like that. I motion this guy over so I don't get that that same shit. I can stand in the pocket. Right here, I think I got him. Chat, I think right here, Moss, he's at the goal line with a 10 cap DB. Now, I will tell you, this is not a throw I throw a lot. This is not a throw that I throw to Randy Moss. It's not a play I run a lot. And honestly, I think smart routing him probably hurt me because he stayed shallow. If I would have kept him on a deeper route in the back of the end zone, it would have been a better throw. But uh, right now, I feel like I got him. I feel like I have a high ball. I can throw it over his head. He's not going to animate. He's a 10 cap. That's all I'm thinking right here, you know, and that's why I do this pass. Uh, I guess I do it a little bit late, and but the 10 cap goes and gets it, you know, and honestly, it was a shitty play that I forced. And another thing that's shitty about it, look, he just gets all the way damn near in field goal range. So that's just donating points. High ball, yeah, it definitely was an ass play, and it was a play that I don't run a lot, honestly. You know, uh, and it was something I kind of pressed and did on my own. Uh, one of the plays I got beat on here, I believe, is when I just get caught with a soft squad on the field. He just motions out, snaps the ball, snaps any fucking shit play right here, and kills me because I have a soft squad on the field. Yeah, honestly, I, and that that killed me because that gives him that gives him ten points. He just goes down. He just he just milks the clock, runs the third and twelve. I get the uh, no. Nah, Actually, yeah. So, I, I don't know what the hell happened that I didn't get any point. Oh, I did go down here and I got a field goal. I got a field goal. So, then I get the ball out of half. And then this is where I just throw the shittiest pass of my life. This is the pass where I, I should just never talk about man again. Now, he had been forcing me to throw underneath. I probably have this throw that I didn't want to throw all game. His whole defense, the whole game was just cover three. I'm gonna, And he going to use her safety and stop whatever big play I put out here. You know what I'm saying? So for here to go ahead and so here I got tired of just throwing drags for yard for tour yards and I got greedy. It's the drag is here. This drag is 1000 percent here. It's second and six. I just threw another drag for four year for six four yards. I know for a fact this drag is here. It is open. Both of these drags are open. But the problem I, I mean honestly, this is a corner route. And for me, I led this pass up. And that's going to make the throw right here. And it's going to make this 10 cap go and get it. 10 cap Rayvon Green beat me. Because I just got too greedy, honestly. Boom. And those were the two plays I made that were super shitty. And after that, it's just it's just impossible to really get back in the game. And as I watch this game, I just see, I just see so many. And normally I don't do this. I really don't give a shit. I mean, after you lose a game, you lose a game. But I wanted to show y'all guys the bad plays. Oh, the punt? Yeah, and that, even here, right here, it's like, what's the point of even throwing throwing this pass? You know? Ah, I, I, ah God damn it. Like, you see this? I'm going to have Y, but his initial lurk looks like he's going to take it away. You know? So it's pretty much a two-side read on this play. And once he lurk, watch his lurk run over there, I think he's going to take it away. So I look right. When actuality, he never really took this away. And this was, uh, you know, down to the one-yard line. And it's tough as hell to kick a field goal here. You know what I'm saying? Really tough to kick a field goal. Get to a third and 12, and it's like, damn. Got to score a touchdown. Let me see what I got. I think I do another pick. What, what did I do? Oh yeah, this why uh, this dude's lurk was just amazing. Like he just was on the right person every time. He's been on peppers. Uh, he's been on peppers a thousand times. He's been on peppers every damn play. Chat. Did I quick snap him? No, I didn't quick snap him. So I go out route. I thought I'd be able to do this. I wanted to hit this fucking seam because he's been on peppers the entire game. Peppers, 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 peppers. I thought Dion would go middle, and I'd be able to hit this seam to Moss. I don't want to throw another drag. I don't want to waste any more time. So I thought he'd be on peppers like he was every other play. This play, he's on Dion. Takes away my seam. So I can't throw the seam. Try to just throw that route right in the middle there, and just the spy picked it off. 
honestly. Yeah, this is what I wanted to throw. He lurks it. This guy goes middle. I want to hit this crossing route in here, but one, I came out in a play. This is a 10 cap tight end. I feel like I have a little spot to throw the ball. I try to low ball just to get a possession catch right here. I mean, the spy should pick this shit off. Let's be honest here, chat. And I, it looks like I have the seam anyway, but when your user's over there, you go away from it, honestly. You know? So after that, now the game's now the game's cooked because he just gonna run a bunch of times, as you see, and punt the ball. Uh, is this where I got glitched? Look at this. I now I to me as somebody that lost the game, I didn't care. You know what I'm saying, chat? I did not care about it. You know what I'm saying? I, I definitely did not care because I, I feel like this game is over. Uh, maybe not. Uh, you can fight a little bit better, but this is I didn't even notice this playing the game because I'm I'm feeling like I'm so boxed. But look at this. Instead of being on the four, I'm on my nine yard line. So this was what? A 90 yard punt? 80 yard punt? I mean, that's crazy. I didn't even, and honestly, I didn't even notice this shit playing the game. Because I'm just thinking I need to get a big play. I can't let him, I can't. But you go from being here to be like, I, it definitely changes the game because ultimately I need to score before the two minute warning. And really, uh, for me, it didn't matter because the first play, I feel like I get a huge play. The first play, I get a huge play, right? I just roll out, get some lucky shit, playmaker up, throw the ball, catch and run, boom, I'm right here. So I get the, I get it back right away, honestly. Yeah, I got punt glitch both times, you know what I'm saying? But... Those were the plays that cost me this game uh, against pretty much. I didn't make him play the game, chat. And that was the biggest thing. Uh, that was the biggest thing that made me mad. I didn't I didn't make him play the game. You know, I didn't make him play offense. I didn't. I really didn't even notice it. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, what are we supposed to do? Quit the game? You know what I'm saying? I didn't notice it, and it, it really wasn't the reason why I lost. I didn't. I really didn't notice the shit at all. I'm just was going in my head. I gotta get a big play. I gotta get a big play. Something like that. No, I really didn't. I was just like I had to score before the two minute warning. All right, we ain't noticed that shit at all. Yeah, I don't. I didn't know, man. That's my fault. But at the same time, uh, it's not even close to any reason why I lost. You know, and because Kane's at that point after doing that pick on the spy is kind of like that shit's cooked, really, honestly. But my chat, my shit was delayed one minute, you know, so it, the chat didn't help me. Uh, yeah, but it worked out well. It worked out okay, and like I said, that wasn't the reason I lost. I appreciate the do the dono, whoever did, and I just check my team lads because my stuff is up all the way. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it just, I said I didn't, I didn't notice. I just, I was already, I, I said I was already sick because I felt like I already lost that game, you know. My man donated one dollar. Said, "Can you watch AKG last game?" Stretch, no. But I appreciate the one dollar you gave me. You could have just said that in the chat without wasting my ears for that one dollar. No, Epidemic, it's just, I let that one touchdown, I, and I just played down to my opponent. Honestly, it was bad. Uh, and something that I talk about all the time on the podcast. I talk about it all the time on the podcast. I definitely do. Honestly, and I definitely fell into that. Uh, but it's what it is. Anything else you want to talk about? Anything else uh, as far as me is concerned? Uh, I will tell you guys, I feel like I haven't. The one thing with being a streamer and... Madden is so good the first two months, man. I feel like I, I feel like I'm really a pro gamer. I'm making a lot of money the first month, month and a half, two months of Madden. You guys come into my mind, right? Then when you know 2K hits the next month, it's it's almost like it's almost depressing is the word. To where you go from feeling like I really made it as a gamer, everything's popping, Madden is bigger than life. Everybody's watching me. Everything's booming to ha to a third of that, and it becomes like depressing, you know. And it, it it ruins your urge to pop on Madden. 
you know, and, and for me, it's like uh, a lot of that really weighed on me to where I really don't want to play Madden. Uh, I really don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I want to play a different game. Maybe I want to play 2K. Maybe I want to play Apex and something like that. What else I say? Because it's a little more fun. And Madden becomes work. And then once you see when the work isn't popping, it kind of it kind of lulls on it. And uh, it kind of hurts it. And and be honest with you, my I probably paid 50 total games of salary cap. Now, you guys can tell me, chat, any of you guys that made it to Cali, any of you guys that competed, how many games of salary cap? Um, tell you guys. How many games did y'all play? And probably I'll ask you because I feel like you got the same vibe that I got. Like, as we all do, you know, I probably played 50 total. Like, I'm not even talking about leaderboards. I'm talking about against my friends total in the last year and a half. You know, uh, or not year and a half, like month and a half. You know, and for me, like, my urge, I haven't wanted to play Madden in a month and a half. Yeah, it's like uh, this. The depressing, not the word. It's like it 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 cuts down your urge to want to play Madden. You know, for me, it gets to the point where okay, now I'm sitting at 500 viewers when I play Madden. Um, I rather play a game I want to play. You know, for 200 viewers or something like that. Discouraging, yeah. Deflating, discouraging. It's like, damn, I was just a fucking man a month ago. My shit was super popping. Now all of a sudden, I'm back to just regular, man. Yeah, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, I don't, man, I don't feel the game, I don't think awful to work, just not enjoying it, but when you make it work, it's like, and I haven't wanted to play it, and I suffered a lot in the way I play the game. For me to play the game like that, uh, to pass every play, uh, you have to really be sharp, you have to really be locked in, and I will tell you right now, I was not locked into the game like that, I really wasn't at the level I should be. All these kids that made these live events, all these kids that are grinding and labbing are super locked in. You know what I'm saying? I, I went super down. No, but seriously, and, and Kane's talk about, oh, 7,000 to 5,000, what's the point? No matter what level you're at, you feel that, you feel that hit in your stream, in your, no matter what level you are. You know, whether you had 100 viewers, now you got 20, or whether you had, you know, 3,000, and now you got 1,000. You feel that hit. It's the same hit. It's just on a different scale. You know what I'm saying? And and to me, it's like, the hit for me is like, this is, the hit that I'm at now is like, this is a profession. You literally are making a great living to, now I'm just a struggling gamer again. That's the level of hit that I'm at. I go from this is a career I'm eating to now I'm just trying to rake together some money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Prob, I feel good. I feel good. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and 900 in the third, fourth month is more than I had in any month last year. So to me, it's like if I can just double that again next year and so on and so forth. And I'm to the point where it's like them losses hurt the shit out of me like met like just from lo a losing standpoint, but I'm not at all dependent on the the tournament shit. I damn sure wanted that two thousand dollars though. I'll tell you that, uh, but it hurt me more from the losing standpoint than the actual money and all like you know the spotlight and stuff like that. That part is like I I'm over that part. You know, it's pretty much just the losing part. Yeah, and that's the biggest thing with Twitch is that. Most of us that stream on Twitch, you know, are have new channels. I probably, I've been partnered for 24 or 28 months or something like that. Probably is it like 64 months or 60 something, 60 plus months. That's a long time. And I feel like most of the successful channels on Twitch have had longevity, whereas Madden doesn't have the same streamers with that longevity outside of Problem. And, and at the same time, Problem doesn't have that super longevity that some of these big ass Twitch channels have, you know? So the longer we have more longevity, the longer we have, you know, partnered streamer, streamer for five plus years, the bigger Twitch is going to get on Twitch, honestly. I mean, I honestly, for me, Kings, I haven't really played Madden at all in the last month, honestly, and it hurt me. Because <coughs> I wasn't, 
I wasn't here with it, honestly. And I, I, it just it was my fault, honestly. But for me, it's um, it really just a wanting to play, and I feel like an obligation to play Madden. Like I have to play Madden rather than I want to play Madden, and that sucks because Madden has always been that's my most fun that I have in my life. But now it's like I have to play Madden, never I want to play Madden. But it's always you know what I'm saying. That's always a, a challenge. But at the end of the day, we're still playing Madden for fun. So, uh, But anyway, we got to talk about the playlist. Because y'all was pissing me off. And you are still in here. And to me, the game is always going to be the game. I'm going to have fun playing it. Whether it sucks or whether it, it's about if y'all have fun playing it. Because if y'all not having fun playing with it, y'all damn sure don't want to watch it. You know, That's what y'all have to have fun. Y'all have to have fun playing it, cause I'm gonna have fun, but pretty much regardless, you know. But you got if you guys aren't having fun, then you won't want to watch it. That's pretty much how it goes, really. Uh, what I'm gonna say, but yeah, Waki, honestly, yeah, it's not the same. But it's not the same for me anymore. It's not the same, and that's when watching BG and watching Pony is different for them. You know, BG especially because. He was who I was, you know, four years ago. And that same fire and that joy, I, I saw that. You know, that's why it, 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 I, I noticed that, honestly. What album? Listen, prop, I listen to everything y'all say. Honestly, I'm really not a MLB. I'm really not a PlayStation guy, but I have it here. I'm grabbing for sure. I seen what it did for prop. I seen what it did for everybody. I can't get on the... Uh, I can't get on a soccer roll. Yeah, I see MLB. I see it. Oh, for sure. Rex, no doubt. I appreciate it. What are we doing right here, uh, X Factor? What is it? What are you putting in my... What is this? Did you put a Yo Mama album here? Bro, don't... Listen, don't put no yo mama shit in here, all right? Why well, can you already know? I mean, if you're not going to be, <laughs> listen, if you're not going to be entertaining, you can't do this, you know? And I had a debate. Now, as we're getting on, we're almost on two hours now on the podcast. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, man, put your cash app below. I might send you something. I might not. But if you're still watching this, if you're on SoundCloud, if you're on YouTube, put your cash app or your PayPal below. You may be blessed. Because I appreciate y'all. It's over two hours of y'all still here. But what I was going to tell you guys is um, I had this debate with my guy. Because we're watching BG. And my guy said, why would anybody watch BG? And um, he said, he, and he said I, it's pretty much going, why do people watch streams? That's pretty much our debate we went into. Why do people... Now, don't put in the chat. I'm not talking to you guys because you guys are here live. It doesn't count. You didn't spend two hours watching this. You know what I'm saying? And they said to me, why do people watch why do people watch streams? And they said, my man said you either gotta be good or you gotta be entertaining. I'll tell you this right now, the good part is important. I don't think it's that important. I don't. Entertaining, yes. Uh yeah, but and and, and I ask you guys, why do you guys watch Madden streams? You know, and I ask you guys that and I ask you guys that often, at least once a week, why do you guys watch Madden streams? You know what I'm saying? I, at some point, being the best player matters for sure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it definitely matters. Uh, being good matters. I don't think. I, I don't think. That's what I ask, Chad. That's what I ask you guys. Being good matters. I don't think you need to be the best player, right? I don't think you need to be the best, but I feel like you have to be. You have to be able to compete against the best. Like you can't just be. Let me go play Clef and lose by 21 every game. I feel like that's. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's kind of. You can't be that bad. You can't, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, for me, it's really about how you keep, it's a job. You have to be good at streaming. And, and as much as when y'all first get into it, it's you don't really see that it's a job, but it's a job, you know? It's a it's a trade, playing the game, interacting, and keeping people, people interacted or keeping people engaged. That's a job that people get good at, people get better at, and people improve at. And that's the biggest part of streaming to me is consistency and perfecting the trade that is streaming, you know? Skimbo, I wouldn't know nothing about it. Every time Clef stepped on my field, he he left a little salty. And I and, and Clef know because that DC season is coming up. 
And Skimbo know too who Daddy is in DC. Y'all know who Daddy is in Mutt Draft. You know what I'm saying? They know who Mutt. Because I'm damn sure I lost in the salary cap. I, I lost that shit. I don't know what happened. I used to be a salary cap goon, but now they get too many decisions to make. I'm ass. <clears throat> Lou, they know who daddy is on that draft field. And they know who daddy is. You know what I'm saying? I can't run bunch. And one of the reasons I don't run bunch is like, yo, Skimbo's really psycho, bro. Yo, he's psycho for real. Like he like yo, I can, yo, he'd be like, no, you he'd be like, no, don't run. Cause I would wind up as much as like I would try to not run Skimbo shit, I would I would do the shit because I would do the shit. You know? But Clef, see, Clef shit is just dots. Like, Clef is just, he, Clef a little more my style because he freestyle a little bit. He mix up his plays. But Skimbo job is like, Skimbo play different. Skimbo play different from everybody else. Like, and you can't do the Skimbo shit. That's all I'm saying. See, you know what I mean? I can't even talk about it. But that's why I don't run bunch. You know what I'm saying? Because Skimbo would freak out. That's all I'm saying. And honestly, uh, if, if I did not stream... Um, and I had a creep account. Uh, yeah, I would probably, uh, yeah, I'd probably be a uh, W Skimbo Junior. That's all. But then if I didn't stream and I had creep accounts, we, I mean, we probably work a little bit better. He wouldn't give a shit, but you know. Exactly, user. That's what I'd be telling Bugs. And Bugs actually, listen, Bugs is a boring motherfucker, right? Good at the game. Right? Right? Bugs is really good. Bugs is an elite Madden player. Now, he might be elite against, you know, the other, but compared to the regular person, he's elite. But your 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 Twitch will pop if you put the time into the shit, honestly. And that's where Bugs at. You know I'm saying? And Bugs got his own flow. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He got his own flow. He got his own... You mean he got his own thing? He talk about grass and how people going good diets and stuff, so it works. But speaking of bugs, as I don't know why bugs win one fucking mad game, he stay awake past midnight. What the shit? He win one mad game. Now he up. What type of mushroom coffee bugs done drank? He up. It's it's twelve oh eight. Bugs is up. If you don't take your do rag ass to sleep, the funny part was. This why this why I respect Bugs though, cause he said I never wore do rags, but you know he was like W. I listen to the podcast and you be clowning these kids for their hair, and he said my shit I don't got that much longer, so I might as well make my shit look good. So he went to the do rag to get some waves, cause he only gonna have you know nice hair for another couple years. So he said I might as well wave it out. You know what I'm saying? So that's why he started went and got the, you know what I'm saying? He went and got the do rag. But so he been listening. So so Bugs gonna be now. This is the question: Is Bugs gonna let the let the waves out for the live event or not? You know what I'm saying, we don't know. We are gonna find out. Yeah, user and listen, my shit done left. My shit on the bus. <laughs> my shit on the bus with Gene driving that joint. Gene driving with his two thousand dollars, smiling. Gene Gene got my two thousand dollars, my hair, everything in his bus driving, chilling. Jesus Christ. Bus driver Gene putting hands, feet. Be, Gene put hands. Gene put the foot that he used to press the gas pedal on the bus down my throat. That's what he did. Boom. Put that foot right. Boom. The same foot he used to drive the bus. Fucking nuts, chat. Fucking nuts. But anyway, we gotta talk about we talk about but we gotta talk about this playlist shit because it pissed me off. And I see my man initiated in it. Cause y'all start and and I swear user be doing this shit just to drive me crazy. They talk about playlist, this playlist, that. Let me be the first to tell y'all Bugs playlist is top five. But the problem with Bugs playlist is it is stuck in the two thousand he, he stuck from nineteen ninety to two thousand four. That's all, that's all he got. He don't have nothing past 2004. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I feel like the versatility that I have, you know, you guys really don't notice. Listen, you guys don't notice this stuff because when I play songs that y'all listen to daily, you it doesn't stand out, right? Now hear me, chat. chat hear me on this. 
hear me on this chat. It doesn't stand out because y'all hear it every day. When you when you have when you hear you know the future, you hear the Drake, you hear whatever whatever Migos track that's popping. It doesn't stand out to you because you hear it. Okay, this is a tough song, but you're used to hearing it. Now you go on old ass Bugs playlist, and you get a flashback, and you say, "Oh shit, I remember this song." That's that's Bugs' whole playlist. I remember this. I remember that. See, now when you come over here, you get some. I remember this. Oh, I remember this last weekend. I was in the club with with Shanae. This joint was popping. Oh, I remember this. This Bugs don't even pop a perk. He don't know about pop a perk. He don't even have no pop a perk type of song. No, he just got Ice Cube and some Nas shit. Listen up, I got a story to tell. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So look, you with the sub, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, problem can't be in the playlist. Every time I turn problem stream on, it's some goofy shit playing. And this is why... Skimbo, we talked about that on track. We talked about the Kanye song. And initially, I tell you... Now, problem. this is what happens. Problem with the chat play his song, right? And the chat, y'all are scumbags. You know why? Let problem be in a hell game... Y'all start playing shit just to piss him off. Like, it's people in the chat. And then the mods be the worst ones. They start playing the dumbest shit possible. Like, it's some, yo, I'm telling you. And I be seeing his face like, bro. And then he get mad. Why he playing? He's like, who playing this dumb shit? Who the f who request? Oh, oh, Danny 13, never again. And he got to do that in the middle of the game. Right? Danny 13 requested Baby Shark, Yes. I'm trying to tell you, yo, shout out to the gifted subs, though. Uh, my man Jay Vicious with the five gifts, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. But dead ass, they start playing Baby Shark. Yeah. Like, yo, he dead ass be in a hell game getting popped and y'all playing Baby Shark. And what do the chat do? Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 prob. You watched. Ha, 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 Baby Shark. I'm telling you. And he got to skip 100 songs. Like, y'all troll us enough. That you can't give these you can't give these people the musical selections. You can't allow them to do that. You know what I'm saying? They play Baby Shark with Namdi rapping. Yes. And y'all have so much fun. You see Prob Face start turning red. Come on, man. Exactly. Come on, y'all. This can't be it. Who played this shit? He'd be like, this fucking song is eight minutes long. What the <laughs> yo, that'd be the one. And then they play the 10 minute songs and shit. No. Chat, no. There is no way y'all will ever and they probably yo, I'd be with probably be like, yo, you gotta let you gotta let the subs get sub requests. You gonna get or song requests, you gonna get more subs. I said, no, not I. Not I say this. <laughs> no way. No. Nah. Listen, and that's why I initiate. I will give people opportunities to request songs, and I will play them on my 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 title. You know what I'm saying? I can't give y'all. I can't give y'all that power. That's way too much, man. But like I said, my my playlist is way more versatile. One, first of all, y'all can't judge books because he can't play the playlist during his EA Disney streams. So he only plays this shit once in a while, and y'all be like, woo, woo. He played many men, woo, woo. Like, come on, man. Watch his stream at 8 a.m. For, for the Drops Enable stream. All he playing is, is, you know what I'm saying? All that dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? He can't. He, he not real. He not going to have the do-rag on for the drop stream. The EA hosted stream, he won't have the do-rag on. He'll be playing, you know what I'm saying? Baby Shark during that. Yeah, he plays the edited versions. He goes plays, oh, let's play um edited, edited Drake. I'm telling you. All right, we're not going to start. No, y'all bluff somebody else. Yeah, listen, I will not be bluffed. I will go I will go song for song. I will out DJ the shit out of Bugs. I it will happen at 1000%. Yes, Bugs sounds smart. Bugs is a corporate person. That's why he will not have the do rag on at the live event. Watch it happen. You know what I'm saying? Because Bugs will succeed more than me because he has the, you know what I'm saying? He got the corporate America, but the corporate America then left me years ago. The cor listen, the corporate part of Madden, I'm, phew, I'm not even on. A, they don't even remember. They don't even know my name. However, Gene ain't never say that shit. That's because Gene is old. Gene doesn't know who Future is either. You know what I'm saying? Gene doesn't know that. When did Gene all of a sudden? 
become you know, the expert on music. You know what I'm saying I play stuff for every age bracket. You know that's because I'm still out here in the streets. You know, Bugs hasn't been in the streets in 20 years. When he was in Detroit, got bullied and had to move to Atlanta. That's back when he was in the streets. Because when he was in Detroit, they snatched his blue light glasses and he rode to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? That's how, you know, that's why he only listened to 2002 music. Because since then, he hasn't heard music. I'm just saying, chat. But anyway, man, this is, uh, exactly. He don't have no, you know what I'm saying? Uh, user, you know what happened? Uh, you ask Bugs why he moved to Atlanta. Yo, man, uh, uh, you know, me and the wife, uh, we, we wanted a better start for our people. No, that's what it done. No, somebody snatched your blue light glasses. They smacked the cauliflower out of you and you went to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. User, you know. Listen, when you friends with Bugs, he's the fresh prince of Bugatti. He he the fresh prince of Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but I ain't gonna say Bugs is red on Friday. Let's not we're not gonna just disrespect my man like that. He ain't just get hit like that. No. <laughs> no. No, no, he not he, yeah, he might be the fresh prince. He might be the fresh prince, but no, nah, he he like he's like Carlton with the fresh prince's background story. Perfect. Cause he not the Fresh Prince too cool to be Bugs. Bugs is Carlton with the Fresh Prince's story. That that's it. But he not red though. We not gonna disrespect my man like he was getting just tossed around in the streets. No, that's, that's, we ain't, he didn't get he didn't get beat up. He just somebody took his blue light glasses. That's all. That's all. But honestly, we are at two hours on the podcast, man. Uh, I appreciate y'all. Club series definitely at 128 people is set. I am super disappointed uh, that I did not make it. But the amount of uh, support y'all have shown all the streamers and all the community, I feel like we really uh, had a great weekend together. We really showed out. Uh, we really did our thing, honestly. We really popped up. Uh, I thought everything was popping. And I'm glad the streamers won. Not that many people stream. Uh, and it's kind of encouraged more people to stream, more people to stay at it because it's going to just keep growing their uh, streams and everything like that. Um, I said uh, it was cool to see them win. And I probably, I'm probably up close to $500 on the gifted subs and shit like that <laughs> that I spent for everybody, really. Uh, I have this hat on. I will definitely feel like a dickhead until Club Series is over. But when these leaderboards drop on Mutt Draft, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I say that. And I say that all the time. Like I'm going to grind. And then it's just like I kind of get to the point where it's like, eh, I'm kind of, I kind of get over it, honestly. Um, You know, for, for me, it's a little rough. Probably you... Oh my god. If they say top four, it might change. But honestly, to me, oh, this is going to be a slobber knocker every day. If they, I, man, top four would be cool. I, I don't know if I got it in me. Pause. I've always been a leaderboard dude. I really have. Uh, this is probably the least amount. Of, uh, top four definitely changes a lot. Uh, to see if top four, you know, means something. But I, the way it's going, they don't give a shit, dude. They, they, it's like, and I, I, I Chad, y'all know how many times I talked about top four. And I hate to go on about this, but this is what top four does. One, let's be real. There's 10 to 20 people that have a chance to get in the top four. Okay? The best of the best that can grind the most games. So, because top four means a lot. Means get, skip every single elimination. Okay. Boom. That keeps 10 to 20 player, top players playing 200, 300 games. It keeps those players playing so much. So then those said 20 players will now continually search. But also, there's 128 people that need to get in the tournament. So those people from, you know, from 20 to 200 have to keep playing the whole time. But then there's also, because they have to get into the tournament. So they're going to keep playing. And they're going to keep losing to people in the top 20. So they're going to have to keep playing. So it's not only top 20 people that need to play to get to the top four. It's the top 200 people that are going to have to grind the shit out of Mutt Draft just because they put a top four in the game. So this is going to keep these top 200 people grinding the shit out of this game mode. Not just playing four games, getting in the top 100 and being cool with it. 
everybody in the top 100 is going to have to play 50 to, to 200 games, you know, because of how much interaction and how much leaderboard activity there is going to be. You know what I'm saying? But I, when they don't understand this, when these idiots sit around the table and don't understand this, I don't, I don't know what's going on in their minds because it seems pretty simple to me. But I'm going to stop talking about it because I feel like I've had, talked about this 1,500 times on this podcast alone. But I hope top four matters because it will be, it will mean a lot. Uh, it will mean a lot for all of us. It will mean a lot. It will mean a lot for streamers. Uh, everybody, it'll always be popping. It's a fun game mode to pop. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty cool though, but, um, listen, uh, I appreciate you guys coming by and, and, and one thing about being a streamer, it's awesome. Um, it's awesome to show the support that y'all show, even in this podcast today, like even when I get popped, like obviously y'all going to troll and that's part of it. And I, I, y'all the best for that. And I feel like if you ever don't accept the trolling and accept the people laughing at you, you're never going to make it and anything you, people are always going to laugh at you. And that's cool, man. But the support y'all showed me, even from getting popped, the support y'all showed all the other streamers, man. Like, man, is a community, but then there's Twitch part that's just a bigger community, honestly. And I appreciate all the support y'all showed me. I did get popped, um, but it's my fault. I learned from that, showed you guys a little bit of the mistakes that I made and the reason I made them. I put a little bit too much pressure on myself, was not prepared like I should have been, but this was the needed podcast this was episode 53 we are on two hours and six minutes like i said man drop your cash app and your paypal i will bless some of y'all uh for watching this podcast for over two hours i appreciate you guys this was episode 53 54 next week and we will have more games to break down as somebody that is out of the tournament i will have tons of fun being able to laugh at you assholes losing